Do you see any legs in there? No, no, but I'm not eating. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, you might get fireworks, but we get dynamite. Whoa, we're back. So we're back to uploading. We missed you all. We were so busy, had no time to upload anything. Now, back to the vlog. This is the last episode from Whistler. What's the most important part of skiing and snowboarding? Refueling. Otherwise known as? Food. Après ski. Pizza. Right. Burgers and beer. I had no idea that's what I was getting. Crickets. Crickets? You ate crickets? No. I did. Taste good. Good to be back. Enjoy the episode. Snowboarding. Get you dressed smooth second. Hey guys. I'm going snowboarding. Cheerios, snowboarders, breakfast of champions. Excited to see what happens after a bit of a lesson with you. Black it out. Kicking Torn off with a lesson to start the day isn't just a great way for him to get reacquainted with the snow, but also a great way for us to run away one more time. There's birds landing on people's heads around here. Wow! Did you get it, bud? Wow! That was wicked. from the top are absolutely killer. Hey, how was it? It was our first time on a lift together, I think. stop. But these days, I'm a much bigger fan of calling it quits at lunch and refueling. That was fun. Abado! Merlin's Bar and Grill. It's right at the base of Black Home Mountain. This place is pretty cool. It's super convenient. This place had those huge nachos, the gigantic Chicken. hamburgers, and that drink that they served where it had all the food on top of it. How do you drink it? Egg, bacon, onion rings, jerky, pickles, pretty much the kitchen sink. Poutine there was amazing. Poutine! When in Canada, you gotta have poutine. It's just a bunch of French fries with gravy and pork and cheese. It's the perfect thing to warm you up after getting cold on the mountain. I had chicken and fries. And then the super ridiculous burger. It was bigger than your head. I had no idea that's what I was getting. There's no way that could fit in your mouth. <laughs> Way to end the day. Uh, we like it so much we went more than one. Yeah, finishing big, right? Get it? Get it. I didn't think I could do it, but I finished it. Hey Torin. <laughs> We stayed at the Greystone Lodge, which was so close to the base of Black Home Mountain, you could literally throw a snowball at it. 
After a session of crazy drinks and gigantic, ridiculous burgers. Hey, can you open that one? What a better way to warm up than a dip in the pool. A heated pool, of course. Oh, oh shit. Right. Most unhappy face of all. Sorry! Got some snow last night, a little bit. Day two. Day two. And you're all set. We are going to jump on the peak to peak gondola, which is a gondola that links Black Home Mountain to Whistler Mountain. If you have a lift ticket, you automatically get access to the peak to peak gondola, but there's also strictly sightseeing tickets available for a lesser fee. It's a good seven to 10 minute ride across. And with so much to do and see and unlimited access, why not just ride it again? Now we go back. I thought the, the views from that gondola were pretty neat. It's a great way to break up the day. I like snowboarding more than going on the gondola. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Well, look at this big open run. <laughs> you were really good at snowboarding, too. It's cool to see how you progress on this trip. Whoa! Nice. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> What is the last food that you were gonna eat of 2018? Pizza. Pretty good last food. Last it food. might be pasta too. We are going to Creek Come Bread, on. which is the top rated pizza place in Whistler. We booked a taxi through Whistler Taxi app. I've never used it. It's like the Uber of Whistler. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! So far, Whistler Taxi is, is a good thing. Oh, he's calling. Oh, let's go. Hey. That was over at the base of Whistler Mountain. It had a pretty cool atmosphere. They had that wood-fired oven back there. I always know that when they've got the big brick oven, that the pizzas are going to be good. And sure enough, they were, right? Cheers. Cheers and cheers. 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 We're getting a lot of food. They had huge pizzas there, and we got probably way too much food. They had a great variety of pizzas to choose from, too. They sort of had the simple cheeses like you like, and all kinds of other crazy Whistler-themed flavors. Bacon and potato on pizza. So I want to know, do you like pineapple on pizza, or do you hate pineapple on pizza? I don't think there's any in between. For me, and for this guy, thumbs up. Oh. Is a thumbs down? Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> I ate most of it. You did, you had a lot of pizza. Uh, thank you, happy new year to you as well. Thank you. Have a good one. Um, pizza boxes are not fitting. Can we just leave it outside? Yeah, I see you yeah, like Pizza boxes not in the fridge, but just leave it outside. I mean, it's <laughs> freezing outside. Hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> so <laughs> so big. Casey Neistat style, holding pizza. <laughs> Can you? Hey. Oh gosh. Last day. Last day. Father and son snowboard day. This is a bit of a dream of mine. Last day. Let's go, guys. How I want it. Time's starting to work his transitions from edge to edge. Fresh tracks. So this is what's happening here. It's a champion's break. Thorn's handling run that I 
never would have imagined. These are runs I never would have thought to take them on, not for a long time. The mountain is ours! How was that? Snow conditions, and he's wondering why he can't see some of the bumps. So he's learning about whiteout. You lead the way, kiddo. Let's finish strong. But if it opens, we're gonna fall. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Just chillin' in the elevator. Just chillin'. Just chillin'. Just chillin'. Yeah, the door's opening. <laughs> <laughs> stayed at home and ate leftover pizza and cricket protein bars. We were just chilling in the house. Just chilling. Ding dong, who's here? Yeah, yo, it's New Year. Yo. Yo. <laughs> it was so snowy, we didn't bother to go anywhere. Eat this. It's a coast protein bar. Lovely ingredient. Cricket. Got peanuts, honey, peanut flour, apples, pears, crickets, peanut butter, and salt. It sounds like it's just seasoned with cricket. I hope the first thing we see is an antenna poking. Oh, That's what a cricket protein like bar it. looks like. Who's first? I am. Oh, you ready? Mm hmm. Are you ready? Cricket. You know what? It's good. Oh, not me. <laughs> You're just a little. <laughs> Mostly peanut butter. Yeah, oh, a piece a of cricket just fell on cricket. Taste to it. Do you see any legs in there? Peanut butter. Number Reasons one. to eat it. crickets. Yeah. Crickets are densely nutritious, lean protein, vitamins, and minerals. They're environmentally sustainable. No scarcity of crickets. We need to eradicate the world of abundance of crickets by eating them. So the cow's free, and let's eat crickets. All right. All right. Last chance for cricket. No, but I'm not eating. <laughs> <laughs> So here's to a new life and new prosperity through crickets. I'm gonna guess that the tang. That, that's the cricket. That tang mm. was the cricket. Oh, something crunched. Mm. It was a head. <laughs> what? Oh, do you know what that is? That's dynamite. What the? You hear that? <laughs> they light off dynamite every night. Why? To create avalanches. Why? People die. If they don't force avalanches, they might happen when people are skiing. Pretty crazy. Oh. Pretty loud, huh? Oh, wow. You might get fireworks, but we get dynamite for those. <laughs> yeah. So I hope 2019's been good so far. <laughs>